Tonight, we're continuing our ongoing election series, bringing you conversations with the candidates of some of this area's biggest races. Now, this is a chance for each candidate to lay out what their policies are and why they want your vote. Please note these interviews have been edited down for time, but we do have the full versions up on our YouTube. Tonight, we check in on the state Senate race in Illinois' 36th district. This stretches from the Quad Cities down to Galesburg and beyond to Macomb. Democrat Mike Halpin is facing off against Republican Mike Tomes. We'll hear from both men tonight and begin with Halpin whose last name comes first alphabetically. It's part of Your Voice, Your Vote coverage here on News 8 at 6.30. Let's just say that you get elected on November 8th. What are your top three priorities walking into the Senate chambers in Springfield? Yeah, so that's um, a good question. as one every candidate should be thinking about. My top priorities are to continue to try to bring jobs back to this area. Second is to continue to lessen the pain of the high inflation that we've seen over the past year and a half or so. And then third, make sure that we're continuing to pass responsible budgets that actually help people, uh, but again, still provide for inflation relief. I think uh, those three things combined should be the singular focus for the legislature going forward until we kind of ride through this difficult period. Over the last year, we have seen a rather large spike in either strikes or contract negotiations with some of the biggest businesses here in the Quad City area. We also have a workers' rights amendment on the ballot this fall. What are your positions when it comes to things like wages and workers' rights? Yeah, so on every issue that you can think of, I stand with, with workers. I want to make sure that Illinois is a, a, a friendly state for workers. I want workers to know that uh, we're out there making sure that we're protecting them on the job and we have a rigorous worker safety regime to make sure that they're not going to get hurt um, and, and not be able to take care of their families. I want to make sure that we're cracking down on companies that uh, are stealing from the wage theft from their employees, uh, making them uh, clock out and then continue working, things like that. Illinois is a very strong state for that. And I want to make sure that Illinois has the strongest possible laws when it comes to uh, maintaining the rights to collectively bargain for wages, benefits, and working conditions. As a state representative, you voted to help pass the Safety Act, which in part helps put more of the burden on the prosecution to explain why a defendant needs to be held. Explain why you voted for this and why you support it. Well, first, I disagree that it puts a greater burden on the prosecutor. Um, what the, what the Safety Act does is make sure that every person taken into custody is seen by a judge, and that judge is going to determine whether or not that individual is too dangerous uh, to be out prior to trial. Right now, we've got a system that uh, alleged criminals can come in and buy their way out, regardless of the offense that they've committed. Um, we don't want to have domestic abusers be able to be arrested, buy their freedom, and go back and immediately intimidate the person that um, um, you know, that, that, that they're accused of harming. Um, we don't want drug traffickers or uh, gang members to be able to raise money from their organizations so that they can be out uh, on bail and then, and then flee the jurisdiction. We need to get back to what is a threat-based uh, system. Uh, it keeps dangerous people behind bars pending trial, but it also allows folks that may have uh, made a mistake but can't afford the, you know, relatively modest bond to make sure that they're not losing their job. They're not um, uh, failing out of school, which can make them make it harder for them to be productive members of society. Um, I think this strikes the right balance. There are some uh, clarifications I think we need to make. One of the biggest things of misinformation out there is that I've heard people are saying that if someone's camped out on your yard, no, the police aren't able to do anything, and that's just false. Um, uh, police have the discretion to take anyone into custody if they're uh, on your property. Uh, and to, to arrest them if they refuse to leave. This bill provides for mental health and support services for our law enforcement. It provides for extra training for law enforcement officers. It provides for the use of body cameras across the state, which both advocates and law enforcement agree helps build trust in the community. And it also provides a certification and decertification process that the Attorney General agreed with law enforcement. And, you know, my opponent wants to uh, go back and undo all of these good things in the bill while uh, misleading voters about what's actually in there. That was Mike Halpin, and up next we'll hear from the Republican candidate, Rock Island Mayor Mike Tomes. We'll be right back. 